Let me ask you guys, bring it in closer. I want to know what Revelation 7 9 says every race nation tribe and tongue are saved. It says out of. We knew we were going to come with that. It says out of. Somebody get it. Get in the blue letter. That word, Kendrick, in Revelation 7, what's the word Kendrick mean? Re it Romans every 10, time, 9 to 13 says right? the Jew and the Gentile. Salvation for the Jew and the Gentile. Let's do it. 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 let us do of the tribe of Joseph were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Benjamin were sealed 12,000. After this I beheld and lo, a great multitude which no man could number of all nations and kindreds and, and tribe people and, and tongues. Amen. Before the throne, Amen. And before that the verse land, destroys your doctrine. Let him finish. Let him finish. All right. all right, finish. Go ahead. Don't be a feminist. Let's, let's let him finish. Man. We're speaking right. like men. Let him finish your statement. Right. Clothed with bright you guys robes, let, me talk? let him finish his statement. Let me talk? Yeah, let right. him finish his statement. Go ahead. Clothed with bright ro white robes and palms in their hands, and cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our power, which sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb. And all the angels stood about the throne, and about the elders and the four beasts, and fell before the throne on their faces, and worshipped God, saying, Amen, blessed in glory, and wisdom, and thanksgiving, and honor, and power, and might, be unto our God forever and ever. I'm on. Now that word. Now this word Kendrick. Right. You came over there. And that's beautiful. We finna knock your head off. Read that. That word Kendrick. Look, let, 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 let me ask you. Let me ask you. He's gonna finish the point. He's gonna finish the point. He's gonna finish the point. It's All the right. word Kendrick from the blue letter. Strong's G five four four three. Which Bible? Which translation? In the Greek. What you mean? It's which? only one. King James one. sixteen eleven with the apocrypha. Yeah. It's only one. The right, one you got, right, that's the new translation. If right, you don't got the 1611 right ahead, now, you're wasting your time, bro. Go ahead. It says, Fule. Strong's definition says, a tribe, a right. nation, a people. Uh, in the New right. Testament. A, a nation, a people. In the, in the New Testament. In the New Testament. <laughs> this is the word kindred in the Greek. Fule. In the New Testament. What? In the New Testament, all the persons descending from one of the 12 sons of the patriarch, Jacob. Somebody get Acts 26. Wait, no, you got, no, I get right, to respond let, now. No, 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 no okay. I get to let respond now. Let me ask you something. Let me talk, man. Let me ask you Who's something. the effeminate now? You came up here. You're, right, you, you came here. You said I could talk. So let me ask you, right? I'm gonna let you talk. You said I could talk. I'm gonna let you talk. I got Every one thing race, you. nation, tribe, and tongue. Every race, race, nation, tribe, and tongue. Let me ask you right? something. Let me ask so you something. So are you saying? What does it say when the Gentiles when, when the Gentiles are drafted in Israel? What does that mean? Tell me. So what does it saying, mean? Are you saying what the Messiah said? Let's do with the Messiah Amen. personally. Amen. So are you saying that in Matthew 15 and 24, when the Lord said he Lord, came, hold on. Tell me what He came saying. not but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Right. And so and hold on, hold let, on, let me, let me say something. Let me finish. Then he sent Paul to the Gentiles. Let me finish. Then he sent Paul so to saying, the Gentiles. The, can I finish? Go ahead. So you saying what the Messiah told the 12 apostles, he told Paul to do something different. Yeah, amen. Peter unto the Gentiles too, both of them did. Romans 10, 9 to 13 says salvation for the Jew and the Gentile. Acts 2, 38 to 40 says you. salvation uh, for the Jew and the Gentile. First John 2, 2 says salvation for the whole world. Now, if just you going, guys are preaching lies out here, If you're just going to sit on a soapbox, have a good night. Right. If you're just going to sit on a soapbox, have a good night. Go ahead. If we're this is just content sitting. for your camera, it is. have a good it night. Is. But have a we want to get to the truth have also. Have a good night. Right? What do you can't answer? That's what hey, you Jew you and the Gentile. Get John 17. Answer Romans 10, 9. Romans 9. Read down. Yeah, yeah, we're going to get that. He got it. Go to Romans Romans 10, 9 to 13. Explain that. They do? Go to Romans 10, 9 to 13. It says Jew and the Gentile. Read that, John. 17, 10. This is John 17 and 9. This is the book of John chapter 17, verse 9. Who is this speaking right here in John 17? I pray John. for them. No, hold on. All right, let me, I don't know. Read the verse. Hold on. How you don't know? Mm. So read you came verse, up here. You came up here. Just read the verse. Just read the verse. No, you read came the up here to test no, us, right? No, 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 no. Test us, okay, right? what verse? What verse? You can't know. Answer the question. You came up here to test us, right? You don't yeah. know who. You don't know who's what, speaking what right verse? here in John 17. What verse? What verse? You came up like you know the Bible. What verse? I asked you who's speaking Just right here. Just tell me what verse. John 17. What? You should know that John off the top. John 17 what? You should know that off the top, right, brother. Read. Right. 
book of John chapter 17, verse 9. Go ahead. All right. I pray for them. Who is this speaking? I pray for them. Who is this? You still don't know. Go ahead, bro. Read again. I pray not for the world. Now, this is the Messiah Wait, so speaking. Wait, Jesus talking? Okay. All right, let's go. Read again. John 17 and 9. I pray for them. I pray for them. Go ahead. I pray not for the world. You say he came for the whole world. So what world is this that the Lord is talking about right here? One more time, brother. Yeah, confusion. No, read again. The people of nine. the world. Hold Go on. on. Finish reading. Finish reading. I pray for them. <laughs> what verse are you on? What verse? World. 17 and 9. And 9, yeah. Read one more time, brother. He ain't listening. Hey, Shalom, brother. Shalom, brother. Read again, huh? Read again. 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 Read Read again. 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 Read but for them which thou hast given me. Amen. Amen. Hold on. Amen. Said, but said, that doesn't him. prove anything about race. Him, that does not prove about race. That's from every race, nation, tribe, and tongue. No, it's not. Where so you get that? Where you, God, you get God that? chose the Where disciples. He said, I've How chosen you, you. You didn't choose me. That's and that's what he's talking about. Did you not hear? He said, those that thou has given me. Right. Who did the Lord give? Every race, nation, tribe, and tongue. Man, get me, get Amen, me Amen, bro, you guys, Let's get that, that, has, that has nothing to do with any race. It doesn't name a race. What's that so word, word it's, right there? It's a faulty what does that argument. Word, do you huh? understand Greek and Hebrew words? Some of them. What does that word world mean? Because when you deal with these The world is the sinners. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's that yes, word, it is. Word, word on the Everybody who's not the body of Christ is the world. Everybody who's not in the born again body of Christ is the world. Acts chapter 2, verse 20. Oh. It's not a 21. Yeah. So let, let, let's just establish what you just read. It, it doesn't prove your argument at all. It does. It doesn't. Hold on. It don't. You just said it don't. Isaiah 45 and 17. Because that just said it. You have to argue. Let, let, let me tell you guys something. No, Hebrews 8 13 says the Old Testament is obsolete. So you have to reason from the on, New Testament. Wait, wait, come on, the Old Testament. Hebrews 8 13. Hebrews 8 13. Read it. The Old Testament is obsolete. So you have to. Hold on. Salvation. It is. We'll read the verse now. What does it say? Hold on. Hold on. Let's get back to the point. Let's not dance so big dog. Hold on a second. What you got? X2. Let's see. Two and two and one. Let's, Let's go. Out. Let's see. Now, now by the man jumping, jump. another argument. He jumping now. Let's go, go to Acts two. It's Hebrews eight thirteen. Come on, brother. You listen. If you're going to read all us, nah, right. go up the street, bro. Yeah, In that so he fun. said, a new covenant. He has made the first old. Is we talking about the covenant? We're not talking old, about. We ain't talking about no covenant. We talking about the nation right. of Israel. Yeah, yeah but you're bringing up the old covenant, and I'm telling you, everything for salvation is in the new testament. How would I bring up the old covenant? Everything we need for salvation is in the new covenant. So you can't, you, John you cannot reason from the Old Testament you about salvation. You, two different things. you yes, can you use can. it for prophecy, you can use it for history, exactly. but you well, cannot. Exactly. Everything about salvation changed when Jesus you Christ you came. Read Hebrews 8, 8, 8, 13. Read verse 6. Hebrews 10, 9 also says the same thing. Read 6. Read Hebrews 6. 8 and 6. Yeah, read. No, read Hebrews. You, you in chapter 8, right? Read 6 yeah. and 7 for me, please. Please read that. It uh, doesn't change anything. No, read it. no. Read it. I said read it though. Read it, you read read it. it on your camera. Pull it up or you on, bro. Read it. Pull it up or you on it so bad. It. it doesn't yeah, change it. anything about you the verse. Yeah, it doesn't change, it. change anything read about it. the verse. Let's read it. Man, look. Let's you guys are preaching lies, man. Let's read it all. You guys are preaching lies. Jesus Christ died for the whole world. Let's do it. You guys got this. Man, you guys are out here funny looking dresses preaching hate here. We lie. The whole Jesus Christ died for the whole world, man. Jesus Christ died for the Jew and the Gentile alike. The Gentiles were grafted into Israel. Mean? But, but you cannot answer. What's the word answer. Gentile mean in the Greek? You can't answer. What's the word Gentile mean in Greek? What does it mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? Your brother, read to you the same word for fule. Is the word Gentile. And it means Jesus died for all of them. It says, and Jesus it's died for in the New Testament. It, it doesn't matter what it means. He died for all of them. The Gentiles, anyone who's not a Jew. A Gentile is anyone who's not a Jew. But now have to obtain a more excellent ministry. Hold on, he'll tell you what? A more excellent ministry. Go ahead. Now, this, how, is the, this is the verse that he read, and he stopped at, this is the chapter he read. He, read 13. he stopped at one verse. We're going to continue reading. But he said, he read 13, but he don't want to read 6 through 8. Go ahead, huh? But now hath he obtained a more excellent ministry. Who did? The Messiah, Yahweh Shah. Go ahead. By how much also he is the mediator of a better covenant. Go ahead. Which was established upon better promises. Which was established upon better promises. The promises applied to Israel. That's what the brother said we're going to read Romans 9. Go ahead. For if that first covenant had been faultless, then should no place have been sought for the so second. So the Lord said we had not went out from the first old covenant. Do we need a new one? This applies to Israel. Go ahead. For bondage. 
Right. Go ahead. You're just no, proving no, my no, point, no, though. No, you're proving done. my point. Because the Old done. Covenant we're was only done. for Israel. Continue. It was only for Israel. Trump. Trump. And that's the thing is the New Covenant. The New Covenant is for everybody. The New Covenant is for everybody. You just proved my point. The we're Old Covenant done. is only no, for Israel. In the New Covenant, the Gentiles are grafted in. They're grafted in. That's why he you doesn't read them. He does not laugh them out. It's like he does know your doctrine's a joke, bro. Your doctrine is a joke, bro. Sorry, man. I will When I will make a new covenant, please back up, bro. Back up. Back up from the ground. No, no, right. Back up from the ground. I'm going to be fine, man. Behold the days The Old Covenant is only for Israel. It's only for Israel. So that all lines up perfectly. And with the house of Judah. New covenant. The day is come, the Lord. In the new covenant, the, new the Gentiles are grafted in. You guys in got nothing, man. Right. 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 the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel Go ahead. and with the house of Judah. Go ahead. Behold, Go ahead. the days come, saith the Lord, Amen. when I will make a new covenant. A new covenant. Amen. With the house of Israel. With who? With the house of Israel. With who? With the house of Israel. And the Gentiles are grafted in. That's the whole point. That's the whole point is that the Gentiles are grafted in. Because of who? The Let me ask you so the Gentiles are grafted into the body of Christ. Israel okay. won't be saved. Okay, that's cool. okay. Israel will not okay. be saved unless they're born okay. again. So okay. we're grafted into something? the body of Christ. Can I ask you the born again body of Christ. Okay, I said okay. Right. Can Amen. I ask you something now? So are you born again? Can I ask you something? What must I do Can to I be ask saved? You yeah. What must Who I do is to Israel be saved? Judah? Tell me. Who is Israel and Judah? What must I do to be saved? Who is Tell Israel and Judah? I'm asking you this. Yeah, it's the Gentiles be, oh, are grafted oh, into the I new covenant. Speak, That's the point of the new covenant. It's saying he's going to make a new covenant with Israel and Judah. Amen. Who is and Israel and Judah? And the Gentiles in. Who is Israel and Judah? All right, bro. I'm not changing my stance on that subject. Who is Israel and Judah? Subject, you don't so got to change. What, what That's why you by yourself. Saved? What must I do to be saved? You black? You black? That's why you by yourself. No, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't right. matter, man. I'm not, taking all you, you guys out by myself. Because the doctrine's whack. Like what shot. must I do to be saved? If our doctrine's so whack, why you here? What must I do to be saved? Why you here? I want to know what I can do to be saved. If I'm lost, how can I be found? How do, no, tell me how to be saved, sir. He heard it. He how can I be saved? Say, he heard it. Well, find him fault with them, he said. Behold the day's curse right. of the Lord. See, you guys are preaching lies. You guys are preaching lies. Every race, nation, tribe, and tongue Not will be saved. That's the First John chapter two verse two says that Jesus Christ died for the whole world. Look, if you can't, if you can't have a conversation, have a good night. Look, bro, you guys are being honest. If you can't have a conversation, if I have a good night, look, look, I can answer. I can answer you your verses, a, you can't hey, answer mine. If you can't have a conversation, have a good night. I'm talking about you. Have a good night. night. You, you can't answer. Night. What does it mean when the Gentiles are grafted in? Have a good night. Yo, what does it mean when the Gentiles are grafted in? I want to know from have your leader. Leader. Have a good leader. night. Leader. What does it mean when the Gentiles are grafted in? What does it mean when the Gentiles are grafted in? I can answer your verse. Can you answer mine? Let me hear it. Let's go to Romans 9. We hear Romans 9, chapter 1. It says, who wrote Romans? Who is this speaking? In Romans 9. Look at Google it, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Romans Tell me, read the verse. See, this Just is, this read is the verse. Exactly. If I don't know what who's talking who's to what verse by number off that, it proves nothing. It proves nothing. Not. To the verse. My conscience also bear me witness in the Holy Spirit okay. yeah. that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish Ooh. that myself were a curse from Christ for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites. So whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants? Both covenants. Right. To so Galatians 3.28 says continue. there's neither Jew We're nor Gentile in the new done. covenant. You don't understand that Galatians 3.28 says there's the neither Jew the nor Gentile in the new the covenant. Promise. You guys can't now answer see, the verse. Is, we're trying to have a conversation. I can answer, now, though. We can you guys are dialogue, being honest. Before we can finish the point, this guy jumps in. I listen to the whole verse. Without allowing us to make the point. All right, make your point. And that's exactly what women do. Women. Make your point. They get emotional. You're the one wearing the dress, bro. You guys are the ones we wearing dresses. We don't say that. That don't bother us. That don't bother us. Right, so us. whatever. Keep reading, man. Read your that verse, bro. Read your verse, man. Continue. Let's read from the top. Romans chapter 9. All right. I say the truth in Christ. I lie not. Right. My conscience also bear me witness in the Holy Spirit that I could have that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were a curse from Christ. Now for those that don't know, for those that we do record, this is Paul speaking. Go ahead. For my brethren, what verse are you on? My kinsmen. What verse are you on? Romans chapter Look 9, verse 3. 
Now verse 3. For I could wish that myself were a curse from Christ for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants right. and the giving of the law and the service of God and the promises. And the promises. Right. Which we read in Hebrews. Amen. And then they skipped down a couple the, verses. Now, Let me answer. Verses, right? Let me answer. If you skip down a couple Who's verses in Romans chapter 10, verse See, 12, it says Jew and the Gentile. Jew chapter 9. Jew, yeah, but I'm skipping ahead. You Jew can't do Gentile, that. We read Jew and Gentile are going to be Gentile. Call, are called by the Lord our God. So you guys can't harmonize the whole Bible. Yeah, man. So you know what? I will raise my voice because I got the Holy Spirit. Do you? Do you have the Holy Spirit? Do you have the Holy? Do you have the Holy Spirit? Have you been born again, sir? Joel chapter two, verse twenty-seven. Right. I can answer your verse. Can you answer mine? shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else. And my people Yo, shall never be ashamed. Now go back to Romans yeah. chapter 9. Come in a second. In verse 4. So because it's clear it said that the adoption belongs to Israel. Bro, now, Galatians the 3 28, there's neither Jew nor Gentile in the kingdom. You're, you you can't continue answer continue that. You Every I Roman. Can't answer it. You can't I answer didn't answer it. No, you didn't. Let me you, hear your answer. You tapped it too much. You're you going to another you Bible two verse. Two one you're going to another Bible listen, verse. Answer the verse I asked you about. I told you the Gentiles is Israelite foreigners, man. Is Israelite what? Foreigners. Foreigners. Israelites that were scattered. No, it's not. God yeah. deciphers between yeah. Israelites and Gentiles. Therefore, therefore, the Gentiles are not Israelites. Yeah. They're not. Let's get John 7 to 35. It, every race, yeah. nation, tribe, and tongue, you guys. John, You're preaching lies, man. 35. What's yeah. the question, bro? It says, we're going to be. John, God loves 35. you guys, man. You can be born in the Jews or shaking the white people. We're All right? Go. Okay. Stop preaching lies, lies, man. What do you got, man? Watch out. Have a good night. Dude, you ain't white. You ran like a shirt. No, no, no. Come over here, bro. Circumcision of the heart in the New Testament. Right. right. Dude, dude, the whole focus, the main focus is to be born again. Right. To have a relationship with God. Right. Right? Yeah. And so the way we the way that we do that, every race, nation, tribe, and tongue. Every race, nation, tribe, and tongue can be saved. This way. If you make Jesus Lord and believe the gospel, you will be saved. But if he's truly our Lord, we follow him. We follow him. We read the New Testament. Hebrews 8:13 says the old covenant is obsolete. Everything you need is in the new covenant. And as you follow Jesus, as you're baptized, he'll give you the Holy Spirit. He'll give you a new heart. That's what it means to be saved, to be born again. And that's for all of us. And as you read the New Testament and apply it to your life, he'll give you peace and joy and a purpose. He'll fill your heart with his love. He'll give you, he wants to walk with you like a father walks with a son. But he doesn't, this is lies and hatred. This is racism. This is the problem with America. It's not the truth. Right? Here, bro. My email and my YouTube channel is on there, man. If you need anything, just email me. There's a discipleship playlist on there, too. It'll help you, bro. It helped a lot of people, man. God loves you. What's your name, man? Matthew, can we pray with you quick? I used to skateboard, too. I hurt myself too much. Right. Amen. So, Father, we just lift up Matthew right now. Thank you for his kind heart, Lord. If there's anything I can do to help him, I pray that you help me, Lord. But I just pray that you bless him right now, Lord. I pray that you give him healing if he needs it, Lord. I pray that you... Give him perfect peace in his mind, Lord God. I pray that you draw him unto yourself. I pray that you give him clarity on these things, Lord. I pray that you build him up into a, a strong warrior for your kingdom, Lord. I pray that you protect him and his family, Lord. I pray that you outpour your love on him right now, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you, bro. You man, Don't listen to these guys. are whack, bro. You guys know your doctrine's whack. You know it. Amen. You only need half the Bible for salvation. You need to learn the rules. Bro, Hebrews 8:13 says the Old Testament is obsolete, man. Take your dresses off and get born. You guys aren't. Are you guys even born again? Have either of you, any of you, been born again and saved? 
Preach the born again message to the whole world, people. That's for lost Christians. You must be born again, you guys. That is the issue. That you must be born again. Every Jew and Gentile must be born again, or you will not inherit the kingdom of God. You don't know what you're talking about. I don't go to white churches. I don't listen to people that talk about what you talk about. Because you're blasphemous. Yes, you are. You're a blasphemer, bro. Yes, you are. Because Look, check it out. So, here's the deal, you guys. Every race, nation, tribe, and tongue can be saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. The purpose of your life is to be born again. If these men are not born again, they will not be saved. But every man and woman and child can be born again by the blood of Jesus Christ. If you make Jesus Lord of your life and believe the gospel, people, you will be saved. But do not listen to racist rhetoric that can't harmonize the whole Bible. That's the problem, is that these men can't harmonize the whole Bible. Can't do it. Don't listen to the lies of the enemy. Romans says that every race, or Revelation story says every race, nation, tribe, and tongue can be saved. Romans 10, 9 to 13 says salvation is for the Jew and the Gentile. But you guys, the central focus is this. You must be born again. Jesus Christ said, don't be surprised when I tell you, you must be born again. And nobody will inherit the kingdom of God unless you be born again. And these men have to be born again, just like the whites, just like the blacks, just like the natives, just like the Latinos. But Jesus Christ made a way for all of us. And that's what it means to have a relationship with God. God loves you guys. He made a way for all of us to be saved. Every man, woman, and child. Every race, nation, tribe, and tongue. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.